Welcome back to Razmasar TV. Today I'm going to show you a Gunstock War Club made by our team member Carl Ayus. Uh, this Gunstock and how it was made by Carl, he already explained it on a video. I'm going to put the link here in the description of the video so you can uh, take a look at it and um, how it was made, the blade of it, and also the Gunstock. Uh, and uh, so you can take a look at it. It's a very very good and solid piece uh, It's um, I mean the way of making that uh, the whole handle or the whole base of it is made of wood and it has tacks on it and uh, Then you have also as you can see it here Carl did a very good job. It's quite a very good strong weapon and it has also very good blade um, the blade has this typical weeping heart with many many native americans used it and also he wrapped uh, the handle of it in a rawhide so for the making and how he made it just watch the video i'm going to give you some explanations about gunstock war club in general Gunstock clubs or gunstock war clubs, they were called as uh, with such a term. The reason was because they were carved in the shape or in the form of a European gunstock. Uh, these uh, weapons were popular and widely used in, used in the woodland area. And Pet Peterson records that they were in use as early as the beginning of the 17th century. The length generally, I mean, the length of them is generally um, some 30 inches, 75 centimeters, and they usually have different uh, styles. The earlier style had a sword type club by having a blade of flint, horn, or iron sat into the upper end, and the stock itself was often decorated with engravings or brass headed uh, trade tax. This type of uh, club uh, remained to be popular. They remained to be uh, popular in the Midwest among uh, such tribe as the Sauk and Fox, as well as Eastern Sioux. As I mentioned before, um, Gunstock Club or Gunstock Stock War Club was uh, um, the recording of its existence was as early as the beginning of the 17th century, and it remained in use as a weapon among Western Indi uh, Native Americans until even after 1850, and after that it continued to be made for ceremonial purposes as a symbol of power later on but before it was really used uh, also by many in fighting and, and in the battles in the 1850s gunstock war clubs could be found also among Lakota on the western plains although the stock what they used was generally slimmer what they used and longer uh, than those gun stock um, war clubs used formerly by more eastern tribes. I would say that it was a very dangerous weapon at close quarters. I'm going to show you now uh, some of the strikes which I made uh, which I did with it so you see that uh, normally they use in order to reach your opponent it is better that uh, you strike with the side which the club is meant to reach because you have a wider reach so the blade uh, comes back please use this at your own discretion because it can be very dangerous you need lots of experience and um, just we use it it's not we don't claim uh, a historical 
or historically authentic uh, techniques just want to show that they can be used in the next variation you see that a backhand can be used by the blade so you hit with the club where it's meant to reach and then with the backhand you can hit with the blade when the when the opponent gets closer to you right so you can hit that way you see that this area from different angles you can use it once you use it uh, I found when you use it two-handed you have uh, you can use this one and then of course you can also when you get cl closer or he, when he escapes you can also go what one stepping back you can trust with the weapon you see that different types of trusting but two-handed trusting is possible you can use one hand up one hand down or at the same level and now one-handed I find when you do it one-handed you have less control because the weapon is quite heavy but still it's doable as you can see it here you see so it's still possible to use it very effectively also from the other side again be very careful when you use at your own discretion in usage you need experience to use that then I just turned it normally they don't use it this way but just want to show if there is closer he's closer to you, your opponent he was closer you could also use it the other way so it's a quite a flexible weapon I would like to thank Carr for making such a beautiful uh, gun stop war club and thank you Carr and have a nice day to everyone